Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, ahlan wa sahlan, marhaban. Welcome and thank you for joining us here on my channel. If you have been here, thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber and staying all this time. We are doing the my first Ramadan series where I'll be painting and talking a bit about the life of Rasulullah and Ramadan. And since we are in the first 10 days of mercy, I will be talking a bit about that, inshallah. In this painting, this is the area, something like where Hazrat Umi Khadija, Allah be pleased with her, the very first wife of Rasulullah where she lived near the Kaaba. And also, I'll be talking about how merciful she was, and Allah be pleased with her, and how she helped Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, through so many steps during his mission of Nabuwa, through his years of becoming a Nabi, since before anyone else, she accepted him wholeheartedly and accepted Al-Islam as her religion. She would open her home for people who were less fortunate than herself. Alhamdulillah, she had a lot of wealth because she was an international businesswoman. As you may already know, she had hired Rasulullah a few years before and he doubled and tripled her income because he was so truthful and he was so well skilled at what he did and his personality drew a lot of people and customers into her business and he made her business just really bloom and took off. Um, there were a lot of people interested in marrying her. Abu Jahl was one of them, the uncle of Rasulullah but she did not like Abu Jahl's character and rejected him for marriage. Instead, um, when it was brought to her that Rasul Akram وسلم, was available for marriage, she actually went along with that and they, alhamdulillah, they ended up married and uh, when they married, he was not comfortable with leaving his uncle to look after everyone, all of the children, because they did not have a lot of wealth. So he ended up taking his cousin, Hazrat Imam Ali, Allah be pleased with him and ennobled his face. He took his cousin into their home with Hazrat Khadija, Allah be pleased with her, and they raised him as a son, and he was also his cousin, but they raised him in their home. So Hazrat Khadija, she was always looking out for the welfare of people. She was very well off, so when people would come to Mecca to um, visit the Holy Kaaba, and they would come to make trade and trade their goods, and things like that, they would always know to come to her house first because they were looking for food. They were looking, they needed to eat. They were travelers, they were tired, and they knew that she was open and would provide for them what they needed from her wealth without asking anything in return. And in order to make her, her home distinguishable, there are narrations saying that she would hang a green cloth from in front of her door and in front of her window from her home so that people can see it from the road when they enter and after they were replenished and had their food and their rest and new clothing new jewelry uh, she would send them or they would go along to the Kaaba and take care of their business and Hazrat Khadija was always that woman Allah be pleased with her who took care of and looked after everyone else. She was the Um Muhat al Mu'minin. She was the Um of all the believers. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.